growth is an inter interesting term. Um, it, it's not continual, it's not a linear thing. It, it does change. Um, certainly I've been involved with our property management business now for probably three years. Uh, my first, my years prior to that was more with a sales team. So I actually wasn't involved with property management to start with, but since moving into that world, it, it, it's been interesting. Certainly we've found that our growth really does correlate to the capacity of our team in many ways. Um, we grew our management business from around 515 properties through to 765, so 166 added over the last 12 months. Um, how did that happen? That was just with a BDO. So we employed a BDO who was an ex-salesperson specifically for the role of signing up. And we've always had the ability to bring in brand new people to our property management business. Um, uh, girls who are 18, 19, 20 who are wanting to move in the industry. Uh, and I think our ambition as a business has to grow with theirs. Uh, and I certainly think that's where we are now. Yeah. Nothing better than offering opportunity. Uh, nothing worse than having a ceiling over someone's job description and someone's role. So certainly our ambition now sits with them. Uh, and certainly um, part of my role is to, is to meet with our team and work out where they want to move to. I think initially when we first bought into the business, um, we did have, have a major focus on the sales side. Yeah, so the sales department has certainly been up and down, but our, our, our rent role has been, I think we've, I think we've done a pretty good job of the growth there. Certainly um, very early on in the piece we realised the importance of the property management division and the rent role and what that can do for a business if you can get that right. So it's probably four years ago that we really started to get into the, 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 the nuts and bolts of the department and, and growing it and you know, working out, working through the issues of, of, of what a property costs you to manage and, and, um, and from there you know, the growth has been phenomenal. Um, look, I think the growth's been very steady for the last five and a half, six years. Um, it's been a fantastic ride, really, and it's something that we've we've still got a big focus on, um, and um, we enjoy we enjoy that growth, and it certainly helped with the uh, stability in the business. But it's it's just been um, ever since we changed to the pro system and running BDOs and and really focusing on individual roles within the within the property management team, and um, and knowing and becoming aware. Of, of just the amount of business that is within the business and not needing to go out and, and necessarily find it. Um, we, we have found that our property management team um, has, does receive a, a massive amount of um, referrals and listings through the sales team um, and um, that, works, that works extremely well for, for the business overall. Look, to me the secrets to growth within a property management division are firstly the people, uh, number one. Um, having good systems um, in place for those people to work off as a platform, uh, number two. And um, number three is having a major focus and uh, everyone within the business knowing that that is a major focus. One of the other areas where we are heavily involved in the property management we do put a lot of focus on is the recruitment side of it. And uh, as principals we take on the onus of, of ensuring that we are working with, with prospects that we can bring into those roles um, well before we need them. Obviously with the growth that we've experienced over the last five years, we've, we've needed to develop relationships and have people ready to move into those positions six months in advance um, prior to needing them so that we can ensure that growth you know, continues. There's absolutely no doubt, um, um, given our model, that um, people are where it's at and um, we, we believe in the people that we have within the business and um, certainly we've, we've built a fantastic rent roll off the back of our people. So. Um, certainly I would not go out and um, um, spend my money purchasing a rent roll, I'm not saying that people shouldn't do that because um, people have done that and been very successful, um, but um, I certainly believe the people are the key to, um, to success in relation to that growth. Investments around growth, um, we made a conscious decision sorry, not to purchase any rent rolls. So uh, although they're, they're continually offered through the marketplace, and I think in, in most marketplaces are, are around the country, um, we decided not to. Um, what we did do though is we did employ a BDO uh, in February 2011. So our investment more so has been in, in, in Mitch, in the person. Uh, more than anything else. Um, and our investment with Mitch has been really with him and our sales team. Look, our ambition around um, the property management division has become very much around the quality and not so much the numbers. Um, I know that we did, um, we did have a goal in place to have 900 properties by the end of um, 2012. Um, six months ago that role or that goal changed and um, 
we've become very focused on the actual profitability that we're getting out of, out of each property and the yield, um, more so than the number of properties that we're listing. So where we were listing 40 properties a month, um, we're now listing 20 a month, but we are, you know, the fees are higher, the properties are better, they're higher priced, they're better quality tenants. We want to run a very quality rent roll, um, one that um, has really good retention um, and overall is, is producing good income, which will ultimately obviously um, provide us with a good platform within the business. Thank you.